And that is what everybody has been waiting for, the start of the 2023 Challenge Roth. And let's see what's going on here. I mean, this is a very intense phase of the race. Generally, you know, you find a lot of athletes taking it out very hard for the first one to 200 meters. That is Fenella uh, at that the front. Is, that would be the, the women's women. field. And that is strung out completely. I mean, there is, yeah, there is no pack here. It is on. Great swim, if that's indeed Daniela Riff, it looks like it is. That's a fantastic swim from Daniela. Let's see what Fenella can, can produce here. Again, um, just beautiful to see aggressive off the front and here she is creating a, a vibe like she always does always she, does Look she, she definitely loves it. absolutely she just oh. loves a party and she loves the atmosphere so ben canute from the usa leading this group but ben canute he's been here for a couple of weeks he's got in here a couple of wednesdays ago he wanted to spend some time on the course he's been over it quite a few oh. times as we can see madness did left <laughs> doing exactly what he does best, going straight to the front of this race. I think she's coming into this race in a really good headspace. She didn't have the race that we knew she was capable of at the PTO Champs in Ibiza, and it has been a little bit of a rocky a rocky season, but I know that she's been putting in the work in Switzerland, and her coach Dan, very, very happy where she is now. She's currently around 3.39 down on this woman on screen, Daniela Riff, who is having an incredible race so far. So we are starting Solara Berg right now and the motos are not allowed to be in front. They have to be behind here. So that they are, our professional men have a clear way up, but you can see it's fenced off for now. But once we get a little further, once a little further, you can't see the road. No, nope, it just... And here we go. So yeah, it's, a, uh, it's crazy. It's, it's definitely a confidence it test where you just oh, ride. Oh, look at that, Jan. You can't even see where you're riding. And look, see Magnus and, and, uh, and Sam getting that crowd cheering. It's... Honestly, unless you've done this, you cannot really describe the feeling that you have as an athlete, whether you be pro or age group, the feeling you have when you ascend this climb, it is... I get, I'm sitting here with goosebumps on my arms because it really is like nothing else in the world. No, it is absolutely... Unique. We've got great conditions today, so why not talk about records? Uh, are we going to see Chrissy Wellington's record? Now, that was set back in 2011. Uh, Chrissy Wellington, she was so many years ahead of her game, it wasn't funny. We've got her here today. She's going to be down on the finish line. She could have done some with some aerodynamics at her time could, as well. This is what I'm saying. Could you even imagine? I mean, she went 8.18 uh, on a bike where she wasn't that aero. Uh, I know for a fact she's certainly never, ever been in a, in a, in a um, testing facility at all. And, you know, 8.18, Danny's gone 8.22. Can we see Chrissy's Welling Chrissy Wellington's time finally fall today? Well, at the end, you have to run a marathon. And hey. that's, that's decided. So this is I, true. I, I, I would love to see the record. But, you know, as Jan said, the wind is not that, uh, that strong today. We don't have the high temperatures we had last year, so mm -hmm. this is also an advantage. But we know that the temperatures will, will pick up, and I think it's essential to have, have good food all, all over the race. And I think Daniela really knows uh, how to do it, how to race, and we might, we might see it. So yeah. we, ha we have Canute followed by Lang, and it looks like there's another rider back there. And I don't know if that's an age grouper, but they... Yeah, yeah that's I think it is, like, because okay. Peter Heimrich was the only other yeah. one. We have been told now that it looks like Daniel Beckergaard had problems with his shifting. So we're going to try and get that updated, but it, it's yeah, it was definitely a mechanical, hmm. as we expected. You don't lose that much time unless there is some sort of fairly serious mechanical. Hopefully he can get that fixed, but so disappointing for Daniel Beckergaard because he was in prime position. True. And we've got a great close up now of Fenella Langridge still holding second place she's riding very very well eight minutes back they're an incredible group so uh, yeah. brilliant brilliant job from both live coverage today as we can see Daniela Riff looking absolutely magnificent right now on the bike um, we've got this woman on screen now, Lisa Norden, who has now managed to overtake Fenella Langridge. So she is now in second position. And look, Magnus is, uh, as I said, he's, he's a brilliant athlete, but he's a, a charming young man. I remember last year when he'd finished and I told him, OK, awards tomorrow. And he goes, oh, 
do I have to give a speech? I said, Magnus, you just won one of the biggest damn races in the world. Yes, yes. you have to give a speech. <laughs> so if my calculation is right, that will be a 3.59. Oh, my gosh. 3.58, but hey, I yeah. mean, that is, that is mind-bogglingly quick. And, um, wow. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely good because, you know, they looked like they were still able to save some energy in those last few Ks and absolutely keep the speed top-notch. Um, whilst maintaining um, whilst maintaining their, their 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 energy levels and here a quick change into the tent and off they go I mean it's heated up looking for a spectacular day but just to round up on that I think where the sport has gone and regardless of who started it or not I think people do realize that it's important who you surround yourself with to mm -hmm. have good people in your corner that you know, four eyes see more than two. And yeah, that you simply have a positive vibe around in order to, to get you going. So that is Ben Canute and Patrick Lange now into T2. It's going to be upward of about 11, Jesus. closer to 12 and minutes. And oh, ooh, oh, oh, that Pat is a tender takeoff. And the problem w with Sam Laidlow, and he b he's admitted this to himself, he the reason that he had to pull out of his last full distance race was because he had terrible uh, stomach issues. And he does have, he was diagnosed quite a few years ago with leaky guts, so he really has to be quite particular, not just on race day, but for the entire week leading in with what he eats, what he places inside his body. But they did find out, they did a bit of fur their further testing after that race, and he did come out with um, a bit of a liver infection. So there was a lot more going on than he gave it credit. So my biggest thing for Sam coming into this race is one, he hasn't been able to do the work that he wanted to do, and two, is he, is he completely over this infection or not? And So when, when was this tested? That after after uh, Lanzarote? He, Lanzarote, exactly, okay. exactly. Because so in Lanzarote, I honestly, I mean, he just went out hard. Yeah. He went yep. out so hard on the bike, somehow managed to claw himself back. Then he ran, he started off in like a... 115 half marathon or something like Look that. Look at them now. They're in, they're in unison. This is incredible. Look at the two of them. I mean. Yeah, exactly. And that is something that Daniela is about to, to find enjoy. Out right now as she enters transition. So Daniela Riff, having had an incredible ride, I have no doubt at all that she has broken her previous record here of 401. Uh, sorry, 4.31. We know that she's going to be going under that 4.30 mark. I think Torsten's last update to me was around the 4.25 mark. So that is absolutely flying. That's the Patrick Langer we know and love. <laughs> Looking Jewish. much better. Uh, it looked like Magnus was making a bit of a move Ooh. through that aid station. Um, but I think indeed. it's just Sam that's fallen off the wagon. I actually thought, because we can see a few waves on the canal, that Sam was just playing it smart and tucking and high and, and tucking in behind. Um, whereas, you know, if the breeze is only a slight one, you might even appreciate f appreciate it for some cooling. But yeah, Magnus looking around. Look at that now, Jan. Ooh. And yeah, he actually he yeah he he almost looked surprised himself because he turned around f three or four times just yeah. to what's just going to check you? what's happening. Um, and uh, might be the first time. We see a bit of separation between these two. Um, you know, he, he, oh, oh, here we go. Sam coming to a halt. There's something in his calf or something. Yeah, it looks like he's stretching his hamstring or his calf. Does uh. not look good. That does not look good. Uh, oh gosh, this is heartbreaking to see. Come on, buddy. Uh. Shake it out, shake it out. Let's see. Yeah, oh. that's of course. Oh. See, come on, that's come on. That's all right. It looks like he's just got a cramp. Yep. For sure, he's he's suffering and he's dying. And I really, really, really hope that he embraces the suck. Mm. There's a shot of her right now. She looks fantastic. Just what we expected. Beautiful, relaxed. Look at those arms. She comes from a running background. She was an elite runner for many, many years. She crossed over to triathlon. She's our current Ironman world champion, and she looks fantastic. But Daniela Riff, oh, and finally, look at this. Well, oh, wow. So we've got a change here. Now, this is interesting. Annie Haug now overtaking Laura Philippe up on the canal. Here it he comes, and he folks. Can legitimately enjoy the high five. Yep, absolutely.
Well, there you go. The winner of the Date Challenge Rock, powered by HEP for 2023, being embraced by no other than himself, the GOAT himself, Jan Fredino, down on the finish line. A new world's best time. Felix Bolsefer also down on the finish line. Felix will be absolutely over the moon. 7.24.40. Incredible. I think the, uh, let, let's also see if he's uh, perfected his beer pour, because I know that was one of the things pretty, he didn't quite get right last year. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled it over the back of the head, let's see. Come on, Magnus, you can do it. You can get it right this time. Well, that's a bit better. Hey, there we go. There you go, Sid. He's been practicing. He's had I a bit of practice. <laughs> He's cheering, cheering up the crowd, telling them to cheer a little bit more as he crosses the finish line in 7.30 and change. So, seven hours and 30 minutes. Fantastic race from Patrick. Felix Wolstoffer down there on the finish line. I think he's just seen his run time. Oh, look he at that. He was wanting to run sub 2.30, wow. and I think he's just seen the 27 seconds. I was about to comment on that, and I think he saw it. <laughs> he was oh so, so close. close. 2.30. So we know that he's run 2.30 before in Israel. He really wanted to crack that 2.30. He, oh, but honestly, that would have been the icing on the cake for him, <laughs> let's be honest. But wow, let's not take away from what he's just done here today. No. Now, we know that Patrick Lange won't get this wrong. He's done this many, many times. Oh, I love it, Laura. And Erdinger athlete as well. He should be well, well, well hurt, reverse. And look at that time, Laura. I know. 7.36. Oh, right on. 7.37. Absolutely oh, fantastic. And he's given it everything. Look, yeah. he's got absolutely nothing left. Jan Fredino down there to give him a... <laughs> Handshake and a congratulations, Patrick Lange also there. Look, the camaraderie amongst these athletes is absolutely amazing. And um, we did just see there on screen that I think that was Annie Haug making the pass on Chelsea Sodoro. So hopefully we'll, we'll catch that again. We'll go back to there very, very shortly. But just to recap here right now, Magnus Ditlef coming home in first place in a new record of 7.24.40. Patrick Lange coming home in second in a time of... 7.30.04, and now Ben, ben nailed Canute. it. He nailed it on his first. And here she comes, everyone. The bird, and she is flying oh. today. So we don't have an angry bird today. We have got a flying bird today. Daniela Reef, your 2023 Datev Challenge Rock, powered by HEP, champion in a time, in a time, Laura, of 8.08.21. That is ridiculous. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And, you know, I think Chrissy just showed it, bowing down to, to absolute one incredible greatness. Act. It is, yeah. One legend of the sport to the next. And she's coming home in the second place today, the time of 8.21.08. She has given it absolutely everything on that marathon. We've got Chrissy Wellington down there, placing that finishes medal around her neck. But look at that. On a, oh. Felix, we will see you, absolutely, we'll see you soon. So that was Felix Volsefer, as we see Laura Philippe also across the finish line. She's here, of course, with her husband and coach, Philip Seep. He will be down there. He will be so incredibly proud of what his wife has just done here today. 